domanda. The fourth question. Davanti a queste situazioni, mi pare che il mio confessare, apprende a camminare, costruire e confessare quelle tre parole di un'omelia che ho fatto ai cardinali. The Holy Father repeats the three words that he took from the homily to the cardinals, of course, journeying, build, proclaiming. The fourth question was from a couple who said they want to do more, particularly for our suffering brothers in other world countries where they can't even go to Sunday Mass. So it's a question about mission. How can we do more for those suffering churches in our daily life? Il coraggio e la pazienza. To be missionaries, we need two virtues, courage and patience. Nella chiesa della pazienza. We need to be the church of patience. Loro soffrono. They are the church of patience because e they suffer. Ci sono più martiri oggi. There are more martyrs today. Than the first early centuries of the church. Brothers and sisters, more martyrs today and they are suffering. They witness the faith unto death. But death is never a defeat. Il grado più alto della testimonianza. Martyrdom is the highest grade of witness. It's the highest point of witness. I piccoli martiri, rinunciare a questo, fare questo, ma siamo in cammino a quelli, quelli poveritti. That is where we are all headed. La vita, ma la danno. And these, these poor Christians, they give their life. La danno. Such is the situation in Pakistan. They give their life for their love of Jesus. Deve sempre avere questo atteggiamento. A Christian di umiltà. Should always have this attitude of meekness, of humility, of tenderness. The behavior that they always have. Che tante volte questi conflitti non hanno un'origine religiosa. Often these conflicts don't have a religious origin. They're usually caused by political or social reasons. And then the religious membership is used like petrol on a fire. But a Christian should always respond to evil with good, and this is often difficult. How can we help these brothers and sisters in these communities that suffer such persecution? First of all, by being profoundly united to their situation. When Christ is on the road to Calvary towards his passion, he has entered into a state of patience. They know about this state of patience because they're looking at the Lord and walking with him on this road to Calvary. So pray for these, our brothers and sisters. Do you pray for them, asks the Pope, in your everyday prayers? I won't ask you to hold your hands up, those who pray for them. But I am asking you, do you pray for them in your daily prayers? Let us say to Jesus Christ, Lord, look at these, my brothers and sisters, who suffer so much. They experience life on the limit between life and death. This experience should lead us to promote religious freedom for everyone, for everyone. Ogni uomo e ogni donna deve essere libero nella sua confessione religiosa. Every man and every woman should be free to confess their religion of choice. Perché quell'uomo e quella donna sono figli di Dio. Why? Because that man and that woman are children of God.
E così credo aver detto qualcosa delle vostre domande. Thus I think I have answered something to your questions. Perhaps that was a bit long. Grazie a voi. But I thank you all for listening to me. E non, non dimenticate. And never forget. Niente di una chiesa chiusa. Do not be a closed church. Una chiesa chi va fuori, chi va be a periferie dell'esistenza. Che il Signore ci guide laggiù. Grazie. Be an open church, be a church that goes out to the outskirts of existence and allow ourselves to be led and guided by God. Thank you very much.